Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this week I'm at the Launchpad space in San Francisco. And this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. This week we introduced YouTube Bounding Boxes, a data set consisting of 5 million bounding boxes spanning 23 object categories, densely labeling segments from 210,000 YouTube videos. To date, this is the largest manually annotated video data set containing bounding boxes which track objects in temporally contiguous frames. To get started with this data to train your own large-scale models, take a look at the post linked in the description below. For the tech industry to thrive and create groundbreaking technology that supports the global ecosystem, it is critical to increase the diversity and inclusion of communities that make the technology. To help with that, Women Tech Makers recently partnered with Change Catalyst to develop some resources on how to build inclusive technology hubs. If you're part of an incubator, community organization, accelerator, or co-working space, please head on over to the post for links to the videos and how-to guides. Chrome 57 Beta is now available with CSS grid layout, improved add to home screen, media session API, and more. All the details are on the post. By the way, for you progressive web app enthusiasts, over the next few weeks that add to home experience in Chrome Beta will integrate into Android in a much deeper way than before. Progressive web apps will now appear in the app drawer section of the launcher and in Android settings. It will be able to receive incoming intents from other apps and more. Details and screenshots are on the post. We recently announced two new Firebase admin SDK features. The Node.js SDK now contains an admin API for sending messages via Firebase Cloud Messaging, and the Java SDK can now be initialized from a set of built-in credentials, making it easier to use, especially on Google infrastructure. Details and code are on the post. Oh, and if you've got questions about debugging Firebase Cloud Messaging on iOS, this post is for you. It's a full debugging guide with a video and code. Pre-configured images for Microsoft SQL Server Enterprise and Windows Server Core are now available on Compute Engine. High avail availability and disaster recovery are top of mind for our large customers, so we're also announcing support for SQL Server, always-on availability groups, and persistent disk snapshots integrated with volume shadow copy service on Windows Server. To learn more and get started today, head on over to the post. We also have new code labs for running Windows and .NET apps on Google Cloud Platform with their own dedicated page. For the link and an overview to help you get started, head on over to the post linked in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Hey, thanks for watching this week's episode at the Launchpad space in San Francisco. If you'd like to catch some of our prior episodes, click on the links to my left.